Hello, YouTube. I don't know. I think this is a part of me now. <laughs> the spirit fingers. But either which way, you guys, Yancy here. For a lot of you who don't know me, who are not subscribed, I am Yancy. Um, this channel is Yancy Will. And I do luxury unboxings. Um, again, I'm going to be getting into vlogs, traveling, all of that. So one thing at a time though but as of right now it is just kind of like a what fits in my bag review of my bags um you know where i got it from and really just a little bit of everything in between all right so this particular oh my gosh you guys i am so sorry literally if you see a twinkle in my eye that's not what it is i literally <clears throat> was choking because I'm greedy and I was trying to snack and film at the same time and y'all that'll work not at all so please excuse me um <clears throat> honestly I don't even know what I was saying sorry alright I have it together now <clears throat> all right all right <clears throat> yes I got something to drink it's still just kind of like in there <clears throat> and it's peanut M&M it's like the after part of it I have no idea <clears throat> it was good though because I love peanut M&Ms but again you guys I have no idea where I was because literally my concentration was on choking so I apologize <laughs> Um, but basically you guys, this video right here is going to be a unboxing part two. And when I say that, this right here inside here is actually my Willis top handle bag. And I actually did a unboxing, I did an unboxing a few days ago. However, as a lot of you saw, when I first opened that box, and it was my first time opening that box because you can't really get it in stores. At the time when I ordered it, it wasn't in stores. I just saw it online, and I really, really love that bag. So when I got it and I unboxed it, it was my first time unboxing it with you guys. So you can actually see the disappointment on my face because literally it's like, <clears throat> basically it's like when I go to the store, and I hate trying clothes on, but when I go to the store and I think that, okay, yeah, this is my size. And I come home because I don't try it on. And then I try that outfit on and then it doesn't fit. That is my face. All right. That's the face that you guys got. All right. So either which way, unboxing part two. And that's because you guys kind of like an update on this bag. I'm just going to take it out. So this big old box. Or bag rather it's not sitting right here <clears throat> so all right <clears throat> I was still excited for the bag you guys I still love the bag um, I have my little 3.1 Philip limb that I got from Target <clears throat> on I like the way this looks because at the end of the day it has that little blue it's like a cute little blazer but it's cute but either which way guys to give you kind of like a backstory um, if you've seen the video and go and see what I was talking about the backstory as far as this particular bag I did call customer service um, and told them what happened with my bag because I did let them know that I just received this bag I literally just opened it and it has several scratches I think a scratch in the back and definitely a scratch on the front um, and then it really didn't come with a whole bunch of the um, packaging on it. So I don't know if somebody just bought it and they returned it. I have no idea. Um, I hope that's not the case. But either which way, it was a large scratch. A lot of you saw it as well. And then on top of that, oh my gosh, you guys, if you look at the Willis top handle bag online and you looked at that bag that I showed you, that looked like a deep purple. The interior of that looked like a deep purple. So that's what I was going off of because I love that contrast with the green and it just worked for me. But this is a blue, like a blue. And I wasn't happy with that. I mean, the bag itself, you don't wear it completely open or whatever like that. So it is what it is. But it was more so the scratches that I was upset about. 
even though I did show a little bit of like, you know, <sighs> pissed offness, if that is, that's not a word, but I made it up, um, <laughs> with the interior of that color. But either which way, you guys, I called, I spoke to customer service. Everybody was very helpful because they just apologized profusely because it was like, I am so sorry. And like the lady over the phone told me, the ambassador for coach was like, listen, I will look and search to see if we have anything in the distribution center, if there are any stores that have it. And I did inform her, I was like, listen, before I even called you, I looked online and you guys do not have this Hunter Green in stock or whatever like that. So she still put me a hold. She looked, you know, bless her heart. I appreciate it because you know what? That's what you want. You want someone to make a wrong right, you know? And I know it's not like that serious or whatever like that. It's not life or death or anything. Um, but again, I'm spending money on something. I want it to come as close to perfect as possible. You know what I mean? So either which way, like I said, she apologized. Um, she was like, you are correct. There is nothing. We don't have anything in stores. We don't have anything in the distribution center. Unfortunately, um, this bag is sold out in this particular color. Would you like another color? And, you know, I said, you know, I appreciate the option. And I, I do truly thank you. But unfortunately, I don't want it in another color or whatever. Because um, this color in particular stood out to me. And I'm going to assume it stood out to everybody else because that's why it sold out. So she did what she did. I was very happy with that. And I truly, truly appreciate it. And again, the customer service for Coach is exceptional. You know, I know it's not their fault who you're talking to of what happened to the bag. But, you know, I do appreciate the fact that they did um, do what they need to do to, you know, try to make it or make me feel at least a little bit better about the flaw. So either which way, you guys... Um, Kind of fast forward a little bit, um, probably even even the next day, I called Coach where I got my bag, where I ordered my bag from. Um, all of my sales associates over there, they know me. They kind of know my voice now. Um, so I just kind of let them know what happened. I told them, you know, I literally just opened this bag. Um, everything is still on it, like the packaging and everything like that, or some of the packaging or whatever. And it has this huge scratch on it. You know, I'm really, really unhappy. So um, after talking to the manager there, at coach she informed me and she said you know they want them to change the window display um, meaning that there are a few Willis top handle bags that are supposed to be coming to the store not everyone's gonna have it depending on the store and where you live you might get a few in not sure if you're gonna get the green in but if you do you know congratulations so either which way what she told me was I have your number email everything i can text you call you email you whatever let me just check give me a few days because we're going to know by the end of this week if we're going to have them in how many and what colors if we do get it in i will definitely put one aside for you um and we'll just go from there and then if we don't have any that come in then we'll do something else on the back end or whatever like that just to kind of like you know put your mind at ease to at least that way you can still kind of like enjoy that bag somewhat so I said, okay. So what I did was I just waited, just waited, waited, waited. It didn't really take that long. She called me and she said, listen, we have your bag. She didn't even say we had a top Willis, the Willis top the handle bag come in. She was like, we have your bag. Literally, it's in pristine condition. I looked at it. I want you to come in, bring that bag. We'll both look at it together or whatever. And then we'll just kind of like do the exchange. So that's what we did. <sighs> just I took it back we did the exchange I was completely happy with it um I looked at it up and down all around inside outside and I didn't see anything um I brought it home you know have my husband check whatever because he's actually more OCD-ish than me so if that makes any sense like we don't even do shoes in the house so either which way um I'm saying that all to say I do have a new Willis top handle bag and I am going to I've seen it already, you guys, and the only reason why is because I needed to, like I said, I was not doing that again. I needed to, like, look at that bag. Like, it was literally wrapped up. I'm talking about wrapped up because it just came in. And she was like, we only had two. Initially, she told me they were going to have three come in, but they actually wound up having two in the Hunter Green come in. So one she put aside for me, and the other was already for a customer who wanted it or whatever and ordered it. So either which way, I was happy. I was grateful. But... Either which way, I've seen it already because, again, I had to inspect it because I was not leaving that store again without looking at that bag. So, box. Here it is wrapped up. 
just gonna take it out you guys So one thing I want to point out, if you guys will notice as well. Okay, so here we go. Yes! Yes! There it is. There you have it. If you guys can see it, no scratches whatsoever. I think this one is more aligned in the center. You guys, it literally is so smooth. I don't even want to touch it. But no scratches, no flaws whatsoever. I think there's like these little indentations. And the only reason why is because this handle was sitting like that. So I will say if you do happen to get this bag and in any color, you guys, definitely have it out. And when I say out, I mean like store it out somewhere that you know that the handle can sit up. And don't kind of put it back in the bag because you're going to have that indentation. You can see it right here. So that I'm not worried about because I know exactly what that is. But if you guys notice, like I just said if before I even pulled it out, the bag that I had last time, <clears throat> you guys, literally, this packaging, the styrofoam, whatever, was not on there. I don't even think it was on here, if I can recall. And... I didn't even pull out the chain. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. The chain was still inside there. I did not even pull out to see if that was attached or packaged like this because it wasn't on the outside. Um, it was actually on the inside. And that's how much I was just that upset. Like, I didn't even bother to look to see. But, <clears throat> yeah. If you guys notice, this particular packaging right here was not in there. It was more so just... I believe this right here and then like something that was really just small probably like that so it wasn't even that packaged um so i don't know like i said i don't know if somebody just returned it and then scratched it in the process but i didn't want that so there you have it guys my brand new replaced <laughs> my brand new replaced willis top handle bag comes with the attachable detachable adjustable strap <clears throat> and you will connect that to these um, rings right here again like I said in the last one it does have a flat pocket with a magnetic closure which is awesome and you do have this turn lock closure right here at the front <clears throat> so Again, the only thing I'm not really happy with would actually be the interior color because, again, you guys, maybe it's just me. Just let me know. But online, it does look purple, and it looks like a deep purple. I know the contrast sometimes can get kind of like, you know, messed up or whatever. Your eyes plays, your eyes plays tricks on you or whatever like that, but that looks purple. That literally looks purple. This, this is a blue. This is a blue. It doesn't look purple you know, next to this or whatever, it looks blue. But either which way, like I said, you don't walk around with your bag open or whatever like that. So it's more so the green that I like and I adore. And this bag is cute. So yes, no flaws, no scratches. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. So yes, this is the um, archive inspired um, Willis top handle bag. And I actually did an unboxing, or I taped, let me say that, I taped an unboxing of my Willis Top Handle, the vintage one. So they replaced the mechanism, um, which is this little area right here, because on the interior, it was kind of messed up. So you guys, they did a great job. They polished it before they send it off or whatever, so it looks so nice. Of course, you can tell it's old, it's vintage, um, <clears throat> but I will do or upload, edit and upload that particular video. And then from there, I will compare the two. So that way you can see both of them side by side and you can kind of see the differences. Um, you can see the similarities and you can kind of just go from there. But I know the reimagined, which is basically the vintage just brought back to life. Um, those they don't have. And they actually have those in a red, like a tannish color and a black. And they don't have those anymore because they literally sold out. And I don't even know exactly when they dropped with the original um, collection. So 
bottom line is I am glad that I have this hunter green color because it is gorgeous I like it um, it's weird because I'm normally not a structured type person when it comes to the bags but I love this particular bag and then like I said I can wear it shoulder bag I can wear it crossbody or I can wear it top handle so this bag is adorable and I love it and I'm glad they were able to replace it for me and take care of me and I appreciate that and that to me is what makes you continue to go back as a customer how you're treated how you're taken care of and I'm not saying spoil me I'm not saying like you know put some flower rose petals down or whatever like that like I'm Eddie Murphy and coming to America no I'm just saying appreciate the fact that I want to come in I want something nice I want to be able to sit there and say I want to get this bag and can we discuss it can you tell me about it can I try it on don't treat me like you know I'm not important whatever it is but either which way like i said i was happy with the customer service with coach um i really don't know what i was expecting i don't think i was expecting anything like someone being extremely rude or not caring whatsoever at all about my feelings about the money i spent or whatever like that i think i was just expecting to see what could happen or what they were able to do because again i just wasn't happy i mean if they weren't able to do anything um even if they were only able to just give me a little bit of money back or whatever that would have been fine I mean I still would have had the bag it's just I probably just would have still been unhappy with the fact that that scratch was there and I didn't put it there or whatever but I'm happy they were able to replace it and I'm happy this one came in and I'm happy my sales associate put that aside for me she exchanged my bag and no issues and like I said I will always continue to go back as a customer because I appreciate the treatment I appreciate you know how they made me feel all right so that is my experience with coach that is my experience with my brand new will stop handle bag i love it i adore it i'm gonna start using it pretty soon but i am gonna take my time and you know think about the places where i want to take it because i know when i did pick it up and we were talking she said this glove tanned leather which is kind of like that baby soft leather she said it is a fragile sensitive type leather so she said i mean you do definitely have to be careful treat it with care but don't like baby it or anything like that but you definitely want to kind of like you know put some conditioning on it to make sure it maintains you know that leather or whatever but i think just when it ages a little bit it's going to definitely be perfect you know so that's it all right so that is my update on my willis top handle bag um you guys thank you for joining me um i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely give it a thumbs up I appreciate you guys watching um I definitely appreciate you guys watching and go ahead and subscribe and then hit that button you guys just hit that button for notifications that way you know that I uploaded a video and again I'm just gonna consistently keep on turning videos out because I enjoy it. it it is what it is I do enjoy it and I'm glad I decided to make that decision and just do what I'm doing because I like the interaction I like the connection I like the commentating so you guys, any questions, leave them below. Any comments, leave them below. Subscribe, like, share, but subscribe. All right, let's get these numbers up. It is right there. It's probably floating around somewhere, but look at another video if you want to. Like those, comment on those, and just subscribe. All right, I appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.